Hi, this is Annette with digitalphotographyhowto.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add widgets to a blog. And if you are not familiar with blogging, you don't know what a widget is, that's okay. Um, what we're going to do is first um, click on a new tab here. We're going to do www.pyzam again, P-Y-Z-A-M. And we're just going to wait for that page to load. Okay, and then over here on the left hand corner you can see there's widgets and flash toys. So you just click that. And then if you remember with Pyzam, you always have to go down because they have a bunch of ads up at the top. So um whoops, it kicked us back. Oops, clown widgets. Now over to the left it will have a drop down of the widgets. Um, there's a bunch of different things to choose from. You can sort by popular or newest. Um, there's custom clocks, custom countdowns or count ups, a digital clock, family sticker. Let's do a custom countdown. Um, because it's a preschool website, we can count down the days to the beginning of school. So I'm going to click on that and then we're going to wait for it to load. Okay, so it's loaded. We need to scroll down. waiting for it to finish. Okay, now over here um, we can customize it. Okay, so we're going to name the event right here. And then you can put the date of the event. So we're going to change this to September second 10 a.m. I didn't switch 10 there we go you can customize the text colors um, I think I'll just leave them like that now I can choose my background image Okay, let's just pick this little crayon drawing one. Just click on it. And then right up here it will show you how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds until the first day of school. Um, now that looks kind of dark. It's kind of hard to read what that is saying, so I think I might go back and pick a different color. I'm just going to choose this solid blue color right here and you can scroll up and you can see what it will look like right here. Mm. I must change colors because it looks red to me right there but anyway we'll just save that that's fine so you just scroll down click get this toy And then you just scroll down. You can auto post it um, to Blogger or you can grab the code. You just come over here and you click copy. It will automatically copy it to, you don't have to right click it or anything. So you just save it like that and then we'll go back to our Blogger dashboard. We'll go to layout. And I'm going to put this down at the bottom. So I'm going to choose add a page element and I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna choose HTML and then I can right click and click paste and then up at the title I do countdown clock And then I'll click save. And I don't really want that news reel anymore, so I'm going to click edit beside it, and I'm just going to click remove. Okay, that's how you remove elements from your page two. So that's a widget. There's a bunch of different widgets that you can add to any page element by using, you can add it over to the right or to the 
top or to the bottom um, of your blog and just by getting the HTML code for the widget you can put it wherever you want to. You can even put it up here in a post um, so that it's up at the top instead of an element that's always there. So when you're done you just scroll back up, click Save and View Blog. We'll see how it turned out. Make sure it fit right. So scroll down and you can see our countdown to school. And that's all there is to it. It's really fun. There's a bunch of different ones you can choose. And um, just go and play around and find the ones that you like that fit your personality.